time at Key West, Garrison Bite Marina, to go to the Dry Tortugas for the first time. I kind of built the boat hoping to get to the most remote national park. It's 18 feet deep and uh, the quicksand and it's really bulky. See it's 9 feet deep in here, 6 foot 5. See these bright white bands that I'm going across and just stop and slow down. It's really 12 feet in here. But, um, see going over this sandbar, it's uh, see these shoaling through here. So it's 10 o'clock and on further zooms you can see uh, I named this quicksand pass that uh, there's actually uh, zoom out you don't see the, the contours. some of the bigger waves. So I'll go from 18, 20 knots to 11 knots in the trough of a wave. So right now I'm 16 knots and uh, 17, 18, certain then the trough of a wave. touching the controls. It's just winding up on the sea state. So a wave 
is actually as deep as the water a lot of times. Uh, or it can be as deep as the bottom. And then that wave can be pushed up equal to uh, the height of the under sea surface wave. So sea surface wave really gets pushed up around these shoals. And uh, with the boat, just leaving it at a moderate RPM just seems to uh, really conquer it. Every now and then you'll plow a little hard into the wave, but it's pretty comfortable. tendency to get stuck in a wave trough because of the keel goes all the way up the plumb bow but I tell you that wave never really reaches that point uh, the bow now I'm having a little cavitation in that that's the jack This boat, it's not like you can trim up and down uh, the nose very much, but it does help the attitude and run. So out here, it's mostly like 80 feet deep between uh, Rebecca Shoal and the Dry Tortugas. And uh, I'm about 15 miles from the Dry Tortugas. Um, generally heading west, but there's a lot of drift when you get on top of these waves.
this is the national park and I need to follow they said the southwest channel so I will go along here and then south somewhere in here dry tortugas and the yellow buoy is there it's one o'clock I'd like to explore the fort and sleep here and get a fresh start because it'll probably be eight knots where it was 20 knots coming here I'm imagining it's going to be like eight knots going home because I'll be against the wind so, uh, this is the way it looks right on red return so it's like I'm returning into the harbor I'm going around all side of Loggerhead Key, there'd be an anchor ball. Just neat to be able to see these reefs and then how the fish finder interprets. Like it literally shows all this like grassy stuff with the fish all buried in it just like the reef is. Thank you. 
Lighthouse. Loggerhead Key Lighthouse. Directly opposite. south of uh, the shoal. I figure the waves will break on the shoal and I'll be on the other side.
shallow in here. It's 38 feet. There'll be a lot more lobster buoys. That is on the, on the beach, and I didn't go snorkeling a lot, but I went in close and anchored. And so now I'm in Key West, and it's uh, it's 150. I'm at Key West, and I'm pulling in channel. So very busy in here. Three cruise ships. Southeast of American Show Light, earlier at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, with a 